here are some of the main reasons building a sprayer yourself can be a better option than buying. You can choose quality individual components that will last a long time. You can make sure the components you use are compatible with the products that you will be spraying. You can make sure that all the plumbing connections are secure and sealed up properly. You can customize the sprayer to suit your needs. The tank is the largest piece of the puzzle. While it may seem straightforward, there are more things to consider when choosing a tank than the number of gallons it will hold. Polyethylene tanks are the most common plastic tank used for sprayers. They provide UV protection and are compatible with a wide range of chemicals including many pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. The pump is the centerpiece of any sprayer. The majority of turf slash spot sprayers utilize a 12-volt electric diaphragm pump. There are two main types of 12-volt diaphragm pumps, demand and bypass. A demand pump will operate within a preset PSI range, shutting off when the discharge pressure reaches the max set pressure. This allows you to utilize a trigger gun or wand intermittently, as the pump will shut off when you let go of your trigger and start again when you pull it. Your spray boom can be assembled in a lot of different ways. The variety of nozzle and boom components available, make it very easy to mount nozzles almost anywhere. A simple spray boom of two or three nozzles can cover a width of 8 to 10 feet pretty easily. Nozzle bodies are the component that holds the nozzle and connects it to your boom. Typically, they have a hose barb slash shank that allows you to connect your supply hose. The nozzle body will consist of the body, the cap, this is where the nozzle goes, and depending on the body there will be a gasket for the cap. Basic nozzle bodies have 11 16th inch thread and a nut that holds the nozzle instead of a cap. When using a demand pump, you will likely experience pulsing when operating the sprayer. This is the pump cycling on and off because the pressure in the line is reaching its max and shutting the pump off. Using a pressure regulating valve will allow you to maintain constant pressure and smooth operation. The regulating valve will be plumbed into the discharge side of the pump with a T fitting. If there is one area of your sprayer that you do not want to go cheap, it is the spray gun and wand. This is the piece of sprayer that you will physically be handling the most. The inexpensive plastic and aluminum wands that come on economy spot sprayers will leak, it's just a matter of time. Eventually, the triggers fail, letting the nozzle continue to drip in between use.